uh, our video. And we're going to be showing you how to do a braille flip motion. As well as other tricks. So, yeah. This is Jack doing a braille flip motion. This is how you do a bar spin motion. Right, so first you hop, like, you do this when you're hopping, basically. You go like that, and then, like, so you hop, do that, and land. So basically, he's trying to say that you... Hop, spin, catch, land. But you have to have your other hand on the ready. Like, do that. To be able to catch it as soon as it comes round. Right, this is Jack doing a kickless rewind. Re re rewind. So basically what you do is you bring it up like a knee flip, spin it round, pull it across the other side of your body so it stops, and then bring it back So This is Jake doing the tail whip motion, showing you how to. So yeah, like, you don't take your, you don't, Put your feet on the ground so you're like doing it all in mid air. Like, so first you would like hop, spin the deck, catch with two feet, and then land without putting your feet on the ground. Just to show you a game. So it's really simple. Uh, you just have to learn how to get spinning. Um, well, like, and with, with your finger, if you want to do it, like. Triple tail whips or double tail whips or multi tail whips or whatever. Like you do a spin motion with your arms like this. Like obviously you do it faster. Like spin, keep spinning it around so you can get like. It, it looks really cool when you do it properly though, but. So yeah. This is Jack doing an untwist or a underpass motion. You just have to push into your body and then twist your hands around or up and just go back up. It's like basically the opposite from a bar twist. They're e they're, I'd say they're easier than a bar twist. Not, they aren't as easy in the air, but it's easy to do them. Flat. The actual way you do it. This is Jake and he's going to be showing you how to do 180 and how to develop to d make it longer. Right, so you would like, you basically like use your shoulders to like spin, but like do that. But then like, once you get better at it, like you could like do like stuff like this. And do like, but land it better mostly. And then like you could get even better and do without taking your feet, without putting your feet on the ground and then you could do 540s and 720s and stuff like that. That's it. This is Jack doing a whip bar motion. Bar, bar, bar whip motion. Right, so what you do is you obviously have to learn how to bar spin and tail whip. So once you've learnt both of them and you're good at them, you can put them together to make a bar spin tail whip. What you do is, is obviously you just spin your bars, so you spin the bars as soon as you catch with it. When you're in there, so like do it at, like, like when you're in air, you do that. Basically. Just say if you get some height and you want to try it, you're just going to have to, obviously, like Jake showed you earlier, help with the bar spin. So just bar spin as soon as you catch with Land. So bar spin, whip. And it looks really smart when you master it. So, so it's like bar spin, whip. And if you want to do it like... Whip to bar. You can do it whip to bar as well, which is exact, which you have to, what you do is you whip, then you bar, and you lost it there. It's much harder and scarier, so you whip, and then as soon as you catch bar, but you've got to like, just say you're doing that, you have to catch the whip in the air, then do the bar. Yeah. But bar whips are much easier, because you just have to catch and whip. It's as simple as catch, whip. So. Hey guys, this is Jake and he's going to show you guys how to do the decade motion. Right, so, like when you go off a jump, like you could, without taking your, with, like, don't 
Don't touch the ground when you do this, like so you, on your deck, you do this, it's like so, you, you take the bars with you, but like keep the deck in the same position, it's like so. This is Jack doing a kick rewind motion this time, so it's not a kickless, it's kick rewind. So you do is spin the deck and then get your foot there and spin it around the other way. Or you can do it like this, like keep off your heels, the easier way is just to do it like that. Once you get better at that, so basically the easiest way to learn it is by, is by doing quick catch quick. And then you should get better and then be able to obviously do the kick rewind. You've just got like to remember to spin, catch, spin, all in the one movement without touching the ground. Bye guys! Bye guys!